What's up RC people? Welcome back to RC Must See. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm introducing a new long-term project that hopefully you guys can follow. I found a really cool RC track not far from my home and I've always wanted to get into racing. After all, I grew up riding dirt bikes and raced motocross for a while, so I've always wanted to get back into it. But the cool thing about racing RC is that I won't kill myself doing it, <laughs> although my wallet might take a beating. Anyway, I've been thinking about it, and I figured I wouldn't dive headfirst in and buy a serious race truck. Uh, and since I already have my Slash 4x4, I could get started with that. That being said, there are a few simple modifications I can make to my stock Slash that would at least get it a more track-friendly attitude when it was being driven. First and probably the most important mod I'll make is this. That's right, it's the LCG or Low Center of Gravity chassis conversion. To go along with the new chassis, I'll also be installing a new set of big bore aluminum shocks. Now this is the basic upgrade set from Traxxas, and they're just a little more refined in their construction. Uh, but I will definitely be filming it for you at the track this spring, and there will definitely be more mods to come. But I thought I would start with the skeleton of the truck first. And there we have it. The old tried and true Traxxas Slash 4x4. Everybody should have one of these. It's a really fun car to bash with or take to the track. Who knows? I might end up even getting another one and put those big 2.8 tires on it and use it as a backyard basher. Uh, just because it's such a solid little truck. Uh, but... The idea of the low center of gravity chassis is basically you're going to take this tray, it's a new shape, and it brings it down a little lower, the battery, the motor, and everything, uh, and brings it down closer to the ground. I wouldn't suggest doing this if you're going to use the truck to bash around your backyard, go off jumps, and kind of go in the general off-road conditions, because by doing that, you're going to limit its ground clearance, and in a lot of ways, that's what you need to not break the truck if you're out in the backyard jumping curbs and stuff. But hopefully, for my purposes, it'll do something positive. And there you have it, guys. All the components to convert your stock slash. Looking at the new chassis here, guys, you can see it has a pretty extreme kind of downward slope. And look how they use this honeycomb shape to add strength to that area of the truck. And they even have it right along the line here, too. That not only adds strength, but it also keeps it lightweight, which is really awesome. So, cool design. Okay, there you have it guys. Here's the new low center of gravity chassis installed. Um, I would say all in all, the whole kit took me around three hours to put on. And that was definitely extended because 
Uh, the front end definitely gave me some problems. The back end, installing the new bulkhead and everything, even mounting up the motor, was pretty easy. But with the front, you have to make sure that you get the servo horn in the right position, or else the steering will be completely crooked on the truck. So I had to take this front clip off about six times uh, just in the course of building it to try to kind of do it one step at a time and troubleshoot it a little bit. So that was a little frustrating, but other than that, it seemed to have come together pretty well. Uh, the kit includes, obviously, the chassis here. Uh, it also includes a new electronics box. I got this cooling fan on the side. It's super nice. It's the one that's meant for this ESC. Plugs right in. And uh, everything else came out good. Now I tested it, um, and it seems to drive nicely. Here's the new shocks installed really nice. I've kind of changed the positions that I have it mounted at. That's all going to come down to tuning at the track, but I did give the car a little bit more of a lower stance and a more progressive rate so that uh, it's a little stiffer in the turns, uh, but I'll end up playing with all those settings at the track, right? That's the fun. Um, so that's it, guys. Came out pretty well. Unfortunately, I couldn't install the rear guards for the shock towers because they are not meant for the LCG chassis. I think it's a simple fix. I just have to modify them a little bit and cut uh, a little piece off of here and this should clear the body. Um, so that's it guys. If you have any questions please comment below. Uh, we'll definitely get some runtime out of this and see how it performs with the new chassis. Alright thanks for watching. RC must see. Cheers.